Hello, everybody. I wanted to show something I've been working on. Uh, it's a little bit more involved with, than what I normally want to do for the videos I make, which is usually a max of about three components. Uh, at least so far, gradually doing more as both I learn and what I want to put forward. Uh, but I had the idea of doing something like this for a while, uh, and it's a lot more involved than I thought it would be. It's possible I'm adding one too many components into a chain I don't need, but I'm doing what makes sense, and then once I get it, I can then figure out what I want to take away from it to make it better. Uh, but it's generally around the terminal. The terminal is in the game, but it's not used for anything by default. At least on all the ships I've been on, it's not, I think, part of any ship. Uh, and all it is, it's just a terminal. Uh, you can write anything you want on it, and typically you can like maybe send chats to other ones or do pretty basic things, but I went a little more involved. So uh, currently, let me put my glasses on. Uh, I wish I could zoom. Uh, currently I have, let's see. So I have a couple things happening. I have the signal out from the relay and you can see it going to this a relay over here. So this relay over here is going to a lot of things. It's going to each of these signal check components and then the signal in is from the terminal. From here I have some of these uh, signals coming into this relay here. And then I have this main relay going back to the terminal. Then some of these I don't have coming. Uh, so I have something like clear text, text cleared on this far right one. And what this one does is it is sending a signal when clear text is typed in and it's sending the signal text cleared to the terminal and it's activating the clear text. The second one I have help so when you type in help, this is the things that will come up and that's going straight to the terminal as well. Over here, uh, that, that one's a little bit more involved. Uh, on this one, this last one, I don't have anything here yet because I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. This third one, I have, so I have this going out to this component here. I have it, coming in from the relay, which is the signals that get sent out from the terminal. And then in set output, I have the nuclear reactor fuel remaining. Uh, so that's always updating here, this output. And the target to see this is fuel. So if I were to go to the terminal and type fuel in, you would only see 54. That's not what I want. So I have it coming over to this, which if you don't know what this is, this is the only time I've ever used it. It's this right here. It joins the inputs together and outputs the joint value as a combined thing. So for example, inputs mud and raptor, it would output mud raptor. So I have this memory component that all the memory component does is it says percent fuel remaining. So we're going to this. Signal one is coming in from how much fuel is remaining into the signal check. So this is always changing. The memory components coming into signal two as percent fuel remaining. So what all this does, oh, and I have this. I have a closed top airlock, and then I have it outputting top airlock closed. So what that is, and I might not keep it, but on ships like this, the airlocks, uh, typically if somebody leaves the airlock, this will remain open and on some ships it doesn't happen all the time but on some ships people don't come in the same place they left so this one will always remain open and then water will be filling this room it's not a huge issue so maybe it's not worth working but i wanted to test it out so what will happen is if this gets closed or actually never mind even if they come back in this will get closed that one opens and this is default on every ship so what happens is I, I can just take the thing out of my hand. 
So what happens is this is now full of water. So we go back to the terminal, type in help. These are the choices I currently have. Fuel, close top airlock, clear. So I don't think I have it set to fuel. Yeah, okay, so you just type in fuel. I had a fuel remaining before, but it was too much to type. So fuel, and this is case sensitive, so I have the check to be lowercase. So fuel, 38% fuel remaining, fuel, 37% fuel remaining, and then whatever it is. So close top airlock, closes the top airlock, come over here, there's no more water in here. I, again, that might not be necessary, but I just what I was messing with. Then we can type in clear. Oh, I think I have a clear text at the moment. Then it just clears all the text and deletes everything. And then you can type in help again, and it tells you what you want. Uh, so if I wanted to, I could come over here, change this. Now the target signal that it's looking for to send this is clear. So I come over here, type in clear, it does it. So what I originally wanted to do, and there's a way to do this, but I'm not sure if it's worth it, is I wanted to do, if somebody typed in anything but help, it would be like wrong input. But what that does, oh, uh, like if I type in this, I guess that kind of still works. So you can type in clear, but if I type anything but help, well, see, like if I do fuel, it's still going to do wrong input because it's technically the wrong phrase. And then this. Like, I, you could have additional things to do a chain. Uh, so it's like, okay, if none of these happened, uh, we'll do this. I don't think it's worth it just for an error. Even though I think the error is fun to have. So... Fuel, no, fuel, 23% fuel remaining. Help again if I want to see it. I don't have anything else tied and then clear. So I'm not sure what else I may do with this uh, because you can do some things with it. Like well, technically you can do anything with it that you want. Like we come over here, let me, let me do this. So come over here get this and let's say for some reason I want uh, see I can't really think of anything that I care about uh, let's come over here yeah the I'm trying to think if there's anything worth putting outputting that matters. You could do engine, you could do speed, I guess. None of it really matters. How about, okay, how about we try this out? Here. Dang, guys. Fucking. Okay. Let's come over here. See. Hmm. I was trying to think if any of this matters. I, I can't think of what else might. You could do like condition on things, uh, but none of it's really a big issue, I think. Uh, like you could eventually do water and oxygen, but I don't know if it really matters. Uh, but I guess this is what I'm trying to figure out is what I want to know. Like what information would you want to be able to see just from text? You could set off, uh, like grenades like if you like theoretically if you did water you could see what's full of water then you could be like uh, fix like fix engine room and then if you had one of these signal checks to fix engine room and the output was engine room fixed and then you had this tied to a grenade or to a fixed foam grenade, then you could have that uh, fix engine room. Then you could have it send the signal fix engine room to this. Then it would send in the terminal engine room fixed, and then it would also output a signal to the detonator to uh, set up the fixed foam grenade. Is that better than having it set to the? Uh, the water detectors? I don't think so. But it's just one of the things you could do. 
Uh, there's probably other things you can do with this that I just haven't thought of. Uh, but I thought this would be uh, cool just to be able to see things like this. Uh, you could potentially have it set to like... I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of something. I can't figure anything else out on what would be worth it. But anyway, I just wanted to send this video because I thought this was neat on something that you could do. Uh, if anybody in the comments has any tips of how to make this better. Uh, that's not just an ever like pyramid of uh, components. This is the quickest method I could think of, but it might not be the most efficient. Uh, but that'll be it for this video. I just wanted to show off kind of what you could do with this on some things. Uh, for bigger ships, it might be okay to do, so you don't always have to uh, go to the reactor if you can just do fuel and see it on here. And this might be easier if you have terminals in multiple rooms. Uh, that all tied to these signals as opposed to just having a uh, a sign in the room a text display which was one of my other videos that says the uh, fuel remaining you could probably just have it on this uh, but that's it which I've probably said a couple times but that'll be it all right see you guys